Ooh, okay. Um, histological path histological analysis of the lesion would most likely reveal which of the following: abundant collagen fibers, granulomatous inflammation, proliferative proliferation of multinucleated giant cells, proliferation of small blood vessels, or malignant cells. An 18-year-old male presents with a small, rapidly growing, painless lesion on his lower lip. Um, the, the lesion is vascular in appearance and bleeds easily upon contact. The, the patient reports the lesion appeared after he accidentally bit his lip two weeks ago. Histologic analysis of the lesion would most likely reveal which of the following. Ooh. Okay, well, I thought I had a diagnosis until he said he bit his lip. And so now I'm just thinking it's going to be uh, a regular just... Uh, he bit his lip and there was damage there. Um, I, at first, I was thinking this is going to be, and this is like super rare, I guess, but like squamous cell carcinoma of the skin. Um, and so I don't think that's going to be there anymore because that's, so I'm going to take away malignant cells. I'm going to take away, um, yeah, I'm going to, right now my answer choice is, is abundant collagen fibers. Um, oh, maybe not. It's rather that or proliferation of small blood vessels, in my opinion. I don't think it's granulomatous infection. That's when you have, I don't think it's that. Um, and I don't think it's proliferation of multinucleated giant cells because I think that's a, literally a granulomatous infection as well. Um, so I would probably say here, um, if it's bleeding easily upon contact, and um, I would say proliferation of small vessels. I'm going to change my mind for, to from collagen to proliferation of small blood vessels. All right, final answer. Yes. Okay, good job. Wow. Okay. So key things here, right? You did it beautifully, right? One of the things is that it's bleeding easily, right? It's kind of, you know, um, it's it's growing very fast, right? And kind of he did have trauma, but sometimes when you're you're healing, right, you, you can create this what they call, you know, pyogenic granulomas, right? On the lip, we do see this sometimes and they can bleed, they're very vascular in nature. So definitely for sure a lot of small oh, blood. Oh, this is this is cancer. No, uh, no, cancer, no, 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 but a tumor. Yeah, it's a it's a benign tumor. Okay, benign tumor that's from trauma usually. So let's let's talk about it because you do mention a great point when you're thinking about your di diagnosis. Okay, so when you're talking through the question, right? I call that you're thinking about your differential diagnosis. Okay, mm -hmm. and I think you're doing that beautifully. That means that you're thinking clinically, which is what I want. Right? I want you to start thinking clinically. Okay, so. Key things is um, you mentioned squamous cell carcinoma, right? Squamous mm -hmm. cell, SCC. Okay, so talk to me about squamous cell car uh, carcinoma. What are the risk factors of squamous cell carcinoma? Ooh, um, I'm thinking that it's going to be something along the lines of like sun exposed areas, especially okay, with skin. Um, maybe smoking. Good, smoking. Um, and maybe advanced age. Good. So you, you mentioned all of it, alcohol too, but yeah, you mentioned majority of it too. Okay, alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. The reason why we're talking about risk factors here, right, is, you know, I'm trying to frame everything in a clinical standpoint, right? So do you think this this patient, 18-year-old male, right, does he meet any of the risk factors to fit your diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma? No. Right? Does it make sense? Yeah. They, and they, the, they wouldn't necessarily have to include these risk factors or would they have to include these risk factors? Well, so, so you have to, you have to clinically be able to support squamous cell carcinoma, right? Of course, mm -hmm. is there a chance that they take a biopsy and they say atypical squamous cells, which would push you to squamous cell carcinoma. But if you're talking clinically speaking, right, 18 year old is way too young, unless you have some kind of like leaf or mini syndrome, right? Um, number two is that, you know, no history of smoking, age is too young, sun, no sun exposure, no alcohol. And also on top of that, the, you know, squamous cell carcinoma, is it slow growing or fast growing in general? I would say fast growing. Uh, fast in in compared to other cancers, but remember, cancers it's in general slow. grow slow, right? So you would need months, right? Or oh, two wow. years. Yeah, and happen within two weeks, so this is, this, it takes that away. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? So the chronicity of this, right, doesn't fit this picture. So you got to be thinking probably not cancer, right? In, in this, it, two weeks is too short for cancer in general, so. Okay. Wow. Um. I didn't think about the chronicity. I really never think about chronicity. 
Yeah, huge, huge, uh, huge player when you're doing questions, right? If you can, if you can cat think of it like this, right? If you knew every diagnosis, if they're acute or chronic, you're already creating like a, a narrowed amount of answers that your answer could be, right? If it's acute, then you probably eliminate 50% of the answer choices. If it's chronic, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So if you mm -hmm. learn that along the way, it'll help you a lot picking a picking a diagnosis. Cool. Okay. Sounds good.